All right, so uh, obviously, if you're a fan of uh, well gaming and you've heard of this magical thing called E3, you would know that a couple of games, important uh, big names or sort of triple A titles, uh, got announced, and obviously one of them was a thing called Wheel for it. Assassin's Creed Origins, which is another installment in the Assassin's Creed uh, franchise. Um, this time it's a prequel of some sort. It is uh, going to be uh, perhaps the origin of the Assassin's uh, Brotherhood. Obviously that is what uh, Atio, Altair, Connor other people that I don't know the name of, uh, you know, that's what they're, they are, basically. And, you know, gameplay has, has came out, uh, both at E3 and sort of YouTubers testing, um, well, I wouldn't say testing, just playing it. Uh, like, for example, I watched uh, people called Cheap and Hunter, they're not a, a small name by all means, uh, but I watched them play it. Uh, let's watch, let's, just, haha, <laughs> let's watch Assassin's Creed Origins, and it looked pretty good, if I'm honest, it, I like the way it looked, um, who knows, maybe the graphics might be downgraded when the game actually comes out, because that's what game developers tend to do, uh, they're trying to make it look the best they can at the time. Uh, for the announcement or whatever gameplay thing they're releasing and um, they tend to downgrade it uh, sometimes like that it, eh. like a good example would be Watch Dogs if you go back and you watch the I think it was 2012 maybe maybe wrong 2012 E3 uh, it looked fucking amazing uh you can't deny it that you've seen like each individual uh rain particle <laughs> that was falling and splashing up on the ground it looks so good when you got it it looked good but not what we were promised same as no man's sky see what i'm saying uh there's no guarantee that it's going to be the same with assassin's creed origins i hope it is not the case but let's not try to get our hoops up because we know what some of the newer Assassin's Creed games are like. Not particularly amazing. Uh, I haven't played a game since Black Flag. I would. <coughs> voice crack! And I would call myself a fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Uh, but I just. Maybe it was just a thing that I thought it ran out of steam. Uh, it, it could have been. I don't know. But, anyway, let's get on to the game itself. Uh, not a whole lot of details are announced. I'm not too sure of anything about the story has been announced as of this recording, which is the 13th of June. Um, what was I saying? Yes. Uh, so, not a lot of things about story, as far as I'm aware. Uh, if that's wrong, please correct me in the comments or whatever point out how stupid I am and how I should kill myself and never make a YouTube video again. Even if I was to kill myself, I wouldn't make a YouTube video again because that's impossible because I can't make footage from the dead. Anyway, um, yeah, so from what I know, uh, there's a lot of m way more animals. I like beating my hand. I like beating my meat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, boy. Um, Lots of animals like lions, horse, uh, horses already in it, obviously. Uh, horses, uh, gazelles, crocodiles, and hippopotamuses. Hippopotamuses? Hippopotamuses. Hip. Hippo. Hippos. Uh, they look, at least in what I've seen of the, of the gameplay, again, it might change, might not, who knows. Uh, it does look. They, they look pretty fucking good uh obviously being the gameplay it 
just gonna have a couple of boggle uh, boggles. Just gonna have a couple of uh, bugs and glitches that might not look like the realistic. That realistic. Like I've seen a couple of times when you kill someone. Uh, well, when you can kill an animal, you can stand inside it. That was obviously not intended. Uh, but that's gonna happen. It's only it was only the alpha gameplay, so I'm not gonna judge it from that. Uh, the only thing I can really judge on is the graphics. Really, uh, at the minute they look good, whether they upgrade them or not, who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, obviously set in Egypt. If I haven't said that. I do apologize. Set in Egypt, so you can probably, like you've seen from the pictures, you could probably, um, go and say it's um. Uh, pyramids, uh, some structures, historic structures, buildings, uh, caves, all that uh, malarkey. Uh, like you would in a typical typical Assassin's Creed game. Like when you're in Rome, you can go inside the famous Rome buildings. I don't know the name of. Uh, like the Colosseum, you can go inside the Colosseum, and many other things. So obviously you're gonna. Probably be able to go inside pyramids. I don't want to say it definitely, uh, but apparently you can't slide down them because the trailer showed that, <laughs> and I think it's also one of the pictures that I have put up on display. Is it? It is indeed. Uh, so yeah, that's really all I know. Uh, as as well as I look, I'm no, I don't know anyone inside the gaming industry. I'm far from a big name in the gaming industry. <laughs> As you see, 27 subscribers. So, not a big name. I'm not a household name yet. Uh, but it's to be released on the 27th of October on uh, PlayStation 4, Windows PC, and Xbox One. Uh, it will also, right, this is a good news for the PC and Xbox One X getters. Uh, It'll be able to run a 4K resolution on the Xbox One X and PC. So if you have, if you'll have an Xbox One X, or if you have a PC and you're planning getting it, you can run the 4K. If your PC can handle it, which I assume it does, uh, because everyone has, you know, a monitor they're gonna run 6K. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 27th October 2017. Look forward to that date if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed. Uh, I will definitely be getting it, as far as I can tell, on this. The alpha gameplay completely lied, and it's not even set in Egypt, it's set in... A cunt is set in Atlantis, under the sea, and you die instantly because you can't swim or breathe. So yeah, thank you for watching, that's all I know. Um, on... So that's a great origins. Uh, that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm not good with outros. You'll be able to tell from a lot of my videos. So in this case, good night and goodbye.